Hello, my name is Michael Pickett, and you too can learn how to paint in acrylic. Welcome to my show. finished drawing the cabin. We're drawing it in two-point perspective. Now we'll take a wash. We'll use our ultramarine blue and lots of water. We're going to wash away all that pencil residue. Now we're going to take our sock and we're going to wipe off that paint. You see, that pencil shows through really nice. There we go. Now we're going to work on the sky. What we do is we'll add some white and ultramarine blue. We'll also add some burnt sienna. It gives it kind of a warm color. Then we'll add a little bit more white and a little more blue. A little more brown. You see how we're kind of mixing it up there? Yeah, we're getting it all blend in. Okay, we'll take some ultramarine blue with our number two brush, and then we'll put it along the horizon line. And now we're going to switch to our 10 brush. And with our number 10 brush, we're going to fill in the rest with ultramarine blue with just a touch of white. We're just going to mask it in. We'll get that all filled in and looking good. There we go. Okay, we'll mix some hookers green in with some ultramarine blue. And with your fan brush, we're going to create the trees for the background. Doesn't that look nice? Get all those trees put in there. Now they don't really have to be perfect because they're trees in the background, in a distance. Then we'll take our white and then we'll put on top of it to symbolize snow. We're adding our snow on to our trees. We'll take our number two brush. We'll add the snow onto the roof. Well, now we're going to use our number zero brush 
and we're going to mask in the cabin. Okay, our next step, we're going to take white with a touch of blue and we're going to work on the snow. We're going to fill in that bottom. Now with snow, it's not completely white. You'll have your areas where it's shadowed. And we'll put the snow in where it builds up around the entrance. There we go. Get that filled in. And then we'll use our number zero brush with your white and burnt umber for the highlights on the cabin. We're going to make those logs stand out a little bit. See how we're doing that? We're going to put in the window by using our burnt umber. Put in the door. Now we're going to put in the entrance way. Now let your painting completely dry because this next step is going to be a lot of fun. All right, it's completely dry. We're going to take our white and lots of water and we're going to put a wash over the top of the trees in the background. Now what that'll do is it'll create the illusion of distance. I'm going to set those trees way back. Now we're going to use our number two brush and we're going to create a wash using burnt sienna as a warm color. Now we're putting in our window. We're using yellow and white and we're going to use that also to reflect onto the snow. Now use your burnt umber for the chimney. And we're going to use the white for the snow and add the snow onto the chimney. We're going to do that as we go. Isn't this fun? Here we go. Put in the snow. We'll work on the chimney to where it looks just right.
Okay, we're going to add more white on to the, the roof. We're going to brighten it up there with the lights reflecting on it. And then we're going to do the shadows around the rim. And we're going to make it look like real snow. I'm going to detail the snow on the roof with white and blue and use your number zero brush. See how that works? Isn't that beautiful? Alrighty. We're going to detail the logs on the cabin. Now use your zero brush with your burnt umber and white. First of all, use your burnt umber and create the shadows in between the logs. See how that makes the logs stand out? Okay, we'll work on the other side. Get all the shadows in there. Separate those logs. Well, it's starting to look like a cabin, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Now we'll add the highlights using a little bit of white with your burnt umber. We'll just paint in the ends of the logs. There we go. Looking nice. Add a touch of snow onto the ends of the logs. Well, as a snow scene, you'll notice there's snow all over the place. And now we're going to add some snow that's stuck onto the logs. There we go. Now a little bit of highlight with the yellow and reflecting into the snow outside the window. We'll do some more highlights there on the logs. Add more snow. And we'll brighten up the door there a little bit. Because you have to remember it's really cold. So we'll get it frosty looking. A little brown. There we go. Your burnt sienna is your brown. And now we'll add the door handle. Ta-da! That way you can get inside the cabin. A little more snow in the front where it builds up around the door and outside the window. Now we'll build it up along the sides and edges and ends. A 
There we go. We're going to build up that snow along the pathway. Because whoever lives there, I'm pretty sure it shoveled some snow. There we go. Now we'll darken the top of the window just a touch. Now we'll just add some detail. Now we're going to create the ice crystals around the cabin. We're going to use our zero brush with your blue and white. Now we're going to lightly make strokes up and down to create these crystals. You don't want to cover up the whole cabin. You just want to accent it just a little bit to make it look like there was water that was dripping off from the roof that froze. I'm going to add a little bit of white because sometimes the snow will stick to the crystals after it's frozen. We'll go all the way around the roof, onto the side. Ooh, it looks cold, doesn't it? Oh, with a touch of burnt sienna in your snow in the front. We can't put just pure blue and pure white. We have to add a little bit of something else to it to break it up. So that's why we add our burnt sienna in with our snow. Now we just fill in the snow. We'll add a little brown where the smoke is coming out of the chimney. Now add some more snow around there because still it's frozen along the side. Well now we're going to detail around the cabin. Well, you're going to use our number 10 brush with white, burnt sienna, and blue but mostly blue in the shadows and white for your highlights and reflected light. I'm going to touch it up here and there with white. Make the snow stand out. Now we're going to switch to our fan brush. Now this is the fun part. We're going to create the trees in our foreground. We're going to use a combination of hooker's green and blue. With a little bit of black and a touch of yellow in with your hooker's green and your blue. That gives it a, a cold green type of a look, which is really cool for snow scenes. Because you have conifers and all kinds of trees, and they're really cold. So you get that part done in there first. Now we're going to take our number zero brush, and we're going to detail the treetops. Here we go. We're going to make them look like trees. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to make them look like trees.
Now we're going to fill in the bottom of the trees, kind of blend it in, add some blue for the shadows. We're going to add our snow onto our trees. We're going to put some white on our fan brush and then we're going to dab it up and down. But we're going to dab it up and down really light. We just get a hint of snow on the trees. Because you know a lot of times the wind will blow. It'll knock some of the snow off of the conifers. So you kind of have to just judge. Use your own judgment. Now add some snow into the foreground. Now you see how the snow lays right on top of the conifers? You don't want to cover the entire tree with snow. You just want to lay the snow on top of the tree. You see? We're just laying the white right on top. A little bit of touch up here and there. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Now we're going to touch up there a little behind the cabin. And when we get that blended in, we're going to take some blue with our number zero brush and we're going to shadow behind the building. We'll make that cabin stand out a little more by bring it forward. Add a little more detail into the snow. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? We're all finished. Now all we've got to do is sign our painting. Now when the painting sign, we'll just paint our edges. We'll paint our edges black. Well, you can hang it on the wall without a frame. Isn't that beautiful? a fun show. I'm glad you could join me. You have a great day and happy painting. I'll see you next time.